Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. So, as you guys know, I am um, I incorporate a minimalist approach um, to the way that I um, run my life. And a few of you guys have been asking me like how or like what triggered me to fall into minimalism. And um, the truth is, um, when I gave birth to Rocco, he came um, a month early, unexpectedly, um, and I was so completely overwhelmed. I wasn't pre completely pre prepared and um, as any new mum, um, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. And I remember um, one night, um, Rocco had a horrendous reflux baby. We would be drenched in vomit like all the time and my hair would be like dreadlocks with vomit um, throughout the day. And I just remember feeling so incredibly anxious and overwhelmed. Um, sitting there looking around me at all the stuff that was just uh, suffocating and drowning me. You know, all the baby stuff, uh, the piles of laundry, um, or, you know, the stress I was having from a mat totally materialistic point of view, seeing like my nice clothes like covered in vomit. Um, just this complete feeling of exhaustion and complete loss as to my sense of identity and um, you know what was important and that's not the way I live my life and somehow I found out about minimalism through YouTube and I watched The Minimalists and it was you know a life-changing discovery so what happened is um, I set about um, you know applying minimalism immediately in my home so I had an immediate like cull of the house um, I got rid of things that um, were making me feel anxious or suffocated or, or uh, you know the general clutter around me and um, that was an amazing experience because it made me stop and look at things that I was you know if I really used them whether I really liked them whether I appreciated them valued them and if it didn't fit into that category it pretty much went either into the bin or into a charity bin or I gave it away to a friend and instantly you know I, I felt um, so much better you know I had um, you know the practical benefits in that it was so much easier and quicker to clean my house finding things was was not an issue um, I had sort of emotional benefits I felt more at peace um, I felt a sense of tranquility um, you know that I just there was just less so much more space around me to feel more comfortable within myself and enjoy being a mother more rather than being constantly distracted by you know mess piling up around me um, I also found that I had you know um, a lot more energy because I wasn't you know having this horrible negative self-talk to myself about the way that I was living myself I felt like it was a much more authentic way to live um, for myself personally and um, it gave me, it, I guess it took away some of the negative chatter that was going on in my mind. Um, and we all know if, you know, with sleep deprived um, new mothers and, um, it, you know, that can be really detrimental to your headspace. Um, then, you know, I started to experience psychological benefits. So, you know, I was able to just concentrate so much more. I had so much more energy. I was able to connect better with people because I was better, I was able to listen again. So instead of being so caught up in my own problems and, and um, issues, I was able to just you know park that to a side and you know listen to other people and connect with my friends again and, and listen to what was going on in their world and what they were dealing with and, and, and struggling with or, or challenged again challenging with or or even exciting things that were happening with them. I was able to, I just felt a much deeper sense of connection to myself and to the people around me and. Um, you know that um, you know again really helped I guess rebuild my sense of self-worth and um, and self-respect and from that I then decided okay well that was my home that I applied this this way of life to why don't I look at other things in my life and see if I can get the same sort of benefits and probably one of the biggest things was you know I, I um, applied uh, I guess more of a not necessarily a minimalistic, more, more simplistic way in that I looked at my um, food and exercise. So I really simplified the foods that I was putting into my body. Um, I had to as well because Rocco was, a, um, because he has such bad reflux and I breastfed him, I had to give up um, a lot of sort of dairy and soy foods because um, that was causing um, lots of problems. Um, so my, my food plan um, uh, really simplified and, and again because of that I got even more energy my body was really appreciating eating whole foods 
and um, when you do have to go dairy free or soy free you actually I have to cut out a lot of processed foods in that um, experience so again my body was so much healthier um, I lost a few kilograms which wasn't intentional but it just happened as a side effect of going dairy and soy free I also started to really um, simplify my exercise routine I had dedicated days um, that I would exercise and I stopped all this like running and doing yoga at this studio and going for a run over there and then going to this gym and that class and all this running around I really simplified it and I you know now I only do two places where I go to exercise one Bondi Beach on a Monday morning when I go for a run and swim with the dogs and the the other one is Virgin Active Gym and they're the two places I, I exercise and that is it I don't do anything else anywhere else um, so because of that I'm a lot more efficient with my time and then finally, probably one of the biggest ones which I've been hopefully been able to help with you guys the most is finances. Um, while I've always been very responsible with money and always been very diligent about investing and saving and um, you know building passive income streams and you know managing m money in my um, family's you know my household's um, cash flow, um, I started looking at you know okay well how many savings accounts do I really need? you know it was I was creating so much so many distractions in my head trying to like transfer savings from one account to the other and again it was a waste of my time and energy it was always on my list of things to do so by simplifying my finances I cut down my list of things and um, you know I found that my finances ran a lot more efficiently because they had one key function and you know there was one account that did one thing um, I only had one credit card I only had one frequent fly card like everything was very simple and um, and again, even you've seen my video about my wallet, it, it, it was became so much lighter and less bulky and full of like less garbage and again, saved me so much more time and energy. But um, minimalism has really um, had a huge impact in my life and I would never describe myself as being a minimalist um, because someone's definition of minimalism is very, very personal. Someone would walk in my home, like some of my girlfriends laugh at me because you know they look at my wardrobe and see how simple and minimalized it is but then some people would look at other parts of my life and say you're not a minimalist, minimalist at all it's very very personal and I there are components in my life where I, I try and be quite strict and then I've had to learn um, you know other parts of my life where I can't actually apply it's not practical um, for me to apply a minimalistic approach and I've had to learn to not be tough on myself about that and just you know be at peace with that but you know the key areas I probably do apply um, minimalism as much as I possibly can are definitely my home because for me I simply cannot concentrate um, until I have a, a clean calm tranquil energy in my home and it's funny I don't even own a toaster which is um, hilarious because um, yeah I use the oven to toast my bread which is not very um, efficient from an energy perspective but for me it works um, so look, if you're interested in minimalism, there are so many different uh, videos on YouTube. I definitely recommend, um, you know, having a look into it. Maybe doing a bit of a, a, a cleanse um, or a cull of your home is a great starting place to see if it works for you. But it's definitely something that um, has changed my life um, for the better and something I hope that stays with me um, for the rest of my life and has really given me a much deeper sense of appreciation and value to the things that are important to my life and um, and it makes it peels back so many materialistic levels and makes you realize you know what authentically brings you joy and happiness in your life anyway that's a little personal insight into I guess my my head and my heart towards minimalism I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv and you can subscribe to the official Sugar Mama website as well where there's lots more information um, on minimalism, fashion and lifestyle things and don't forget of course to subscribe to this YouTube channel um, I'm very much in a growth phase of this channel and I'm really enjoying the journey so I want to keep on um, sharing lots of things um, that will help you as well in your life so ciao for now and I'll see you next, next week, I should say, on Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao!